Hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> yes. Let's go. Today we are drawing solid geometry. Mm -hmm. This is a grade 10 solid geometry. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What are we given? Given the inclined front and auxiliary view with the x, y axis. Instruction. Draw to scale 1 is to 1 in the first angle of the graphic projection. So I hope you guys, you remember how angle, uh, first angle of the graphic projection works. The given front view, top view, left view. And then they said no to start with the auxiliary view on point T. Here is point T. We have point T here. So, this thing is at an angle of 60 degrees this side from the horizontal. So, which means this one is straight. Uh, we can prove that. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. See, it's straight. So, we're gonna have to draw left view. So we're gonna draw left view and top view. So we're gonna start with the given drawing. So let's start with the given drawing. <laughs> you have the starting point here. This is what I will do. So since this one is 30, it means this line is... Okay, we are given here is 30. So you take your compass and then you measure 50. Measure 15. So this is an hexagon. Yeah? Mm. So we're gonna make this one a little bit dark. So at this point, uh, on on one of the videos, I showed you how to construct all of the what do you call them. All the shapes hexagon pentagon you see so but as you can see uh hexagon when a hexagon is at an angle of 60 degree right? so yeah we do this yeah you can just come and draw a straight line like this and then you measure it. Okay, I'll take this one. And then I come here. You see, if you check this hexagon, if you look at from this point, it's like it's sitting horizontal. So, We'll come here and then and measure it again. You see how easy it is to draw the hexagon. It's unlike when you draw pentagon. Still fixed. Just come like this. Measure it. again you measure that yes your yeah, eggs are gone now you can make it dark so with the line
this one now. Let's draw the front view. So to draw the front view, it will take a set a T square like this. And let's draw this line. This lines going up like that. Come back to me. And here uh, we won't draw the, the, the X2, X, Y2 line. So we just start with our bottom line. And then we may, from there we measure 50. 15 millimeter. And there is our 50. You see? Yeah, done with the given view you now. The 10 minutes. This is simple. Solid, solid geometry is very simple. It was one of my favorite, favorite chapter in EGD. Yeah, dealing with the master here. <laughs> so now we're gonna have to draw the top view. So, on first angle of the graphic projection, as you can see, we only have to left with the space here and here. First angle of the graphic projection, your top view is down here. So, to draw the top view, we're gonna construct these lines like this. So this is what you will see when you look from the top. So here, yeah, this one can be your center. So what you can do uh you can just take the measurement and transfer them here or draw an auxiliary view here so to save time we'll just we'll just take the measurements so what to do so when you are looking from above when you're looking from above what will you see can anyone tell me Okay, first I'm gonna take this distance and then come here, mark like that, and then from there. Remember, when you will be looking at this point, so you will see this thing slanting a little bit, it means you will see this whole part. So, as you can see, your hexagon is already coming out. Then you're gonna have this part, and this part, and this part. You mark, you mark, you mark. And then this is here. You will see this part, and it comes back here. It comes back here. So, the easy way you can just number. Your number your points. You can see this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Your point one. Your point one is this one. One. Point four is this one. And remember when you look from the above, you see this one. This point here, which is this one so this is the one and then point two is this one 
3 is this one here a point 0.4 is this one here so you can see for 2 is the let's see it's at the same level as z and then this will be a z Print one is with print eight, and then you can see this by uh, six and seven that hidden. We we'll only see eight and seven. Okay, this. This will be our point six. Okay, six. So all you can do, you can just come and join this line like this. And then you draw, and this one will join this one seven to eight. So I prefer doing numbering because it helps you to, to be able to see, you won't get confused. <coughs> so, people who don't use numbers, numbering, they are the masters of drawing. People like me. <laughs> there you go so this is what you'll see from there but we'll be looking at this this is this edge and then this one this this portion here this one is this one and then this part here you'll be seeing it from here it's this part because as you can see two and three that this one okay we are done with the top view now to draw the left view Easy to draw the line. Again, you transfer the line. So I'm the transferring of the line. Mm. Transfer the line. All the line. All the necessary edges. Okay, <laughs> let me do this. Okay. Here we go. So from here, you can just draw. Okay, let's draw a middle line. You can put it anywhere. Make sure that you put it where yeah your drawing will be able to fit you can you can't put it here because if you put it here your drawing will go beyond this portion okay so let's see when you look from the left you see this point again yeah uh, let's Let's take this distance here. Yeah. Again, transfer it like that. Uh, the other thing you can just transfer it by 45 degree angle. You take this one up. Take you. Yeah, that's the, the right way to do it. That's the right way to do it. In fact, in fact, let's, let's do that because that's, that's how you are supposed to do it. So this one will remove it. So you come and draw your line here. Okay, draw line. You come and take your 
Okay, let's try another one here, yeah, just in the middle. Come and take your 45 degree to transfer the measurement. Just like that, you have the middle one. And then from there, so you are looking from this side, okay. number 8, it should be in the middle, and then you have this point, number 1, see, and then you have number 7, number 7 will come here, and here, and then you have number 6, it will come here, and here and here already you can see the shape of an hexagon yes and then this one so all you have to do is draw a straight line like this and then join this one so guys if, if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask you can post any drawing you want me to do I'll do it any there's no drawing which I can do. See, I hope everybody understand and you can see how this works. Then you got the total. So when you look from the, the left, the left hand, this is what you will see. So if you were to look from the the, the right hand, this will you were just gonna turn this one just turn it like this this portion will be up here and then this portion will be done here easy if they said they draw the right view you see so this this is how it's done so here you get your uh, how many marks where are the marks and they didn't write marks huh? yeah but it got total it got total yeah, it's done. That's basically the solid geometry. So, yeah. You can just do your center line on this one. Yeah, do center line. You are done. You are done. You are done. Thank you guys, thank you guys, don't hesitate, if you have any question, ask, 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 ask.